to the uh, chat. Uh, yes, Sherry, we're all interested in color. That's, that's usually Leah's thing. You guys can have your own uh, little session. Uh, this is a form that I've created. If you submit into that form, you will get an automatic response, um, either with a link to sign up for the premium features or a, uh, <laughs> I'm okay, whatever you need to stay focused, Leah. You either get a link to sign up for the premium features, or if you already have a free account, you'll get a um, a passcode that you put into the settings. So the the why do you need a free account? Number one, it costs you nothing. It costs your school nothing. It's definitely something I would recommend. Uh, number two, it will get rid of any watermarking. It will remove the limitation on the amount of video that you can export every month. It opens up some additional features like chroma key, which is green screen. And, uh, and the likes of that. So it's something you can do. Um, generally, we have a set number of these that I hold on to throughout the year and sort of assign them out for class projects for a limited amount of time and then bring them back in to make sure that everybody can get access to them. Uh, if you're gonna try and run a program with this at the school, we sort of ask that you work through us to buy some of your own licenses. Um, but for smaller projects and stuff or just wanted to trial out, it's definitely there. Uh, so that's why I kind of move these in and out. Right now, um, I got a thousand or two thousand, I can't remember, licenses from uh, WeVideo with regards to COVID-19. So right now we have no fears about running out of them. Please jump in and grab that uh, and we'll check later. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen and we are gonna get going right from word zero here. So here we go, uh, wevideo.com is where we're going. We're gonna log in. I know some of you have already, or maybe in the process of signing up, we're gonna jump up and log in. We're gonna sign in with Google and we're gonna use our Google account, uh, our Palliser account. That's the only one that we're gonna get the premium features from. Now, your mine looks ever so slightly different because I have the admin tab, but everything else that I have, you also have access to. You don't need to worry about this stuff on the side, the use time and the use storage. Those are globally. Those are for the entire division. So, you know, we have 136.7 gigabytes of video right now stored, but we have uh, 11,500 um, available to us, so no big deal. And likewise, with the amount of time that's used, we have 2,300 hours, so not a big deal there. That's how we get into it. Once we get into it, we need to worry about what we wanna do in here and um, where we're gonna get our videos and stuff like that. So we'll just go through really quickly. Dashboard is where we're gonna start out by default. This is where you're gonna come back to find all your projects that you're working on. Those will be in the center of the screen, the gray part at the bottom. This is where you can start to create some new video if you want to, you know, if you want to create a new project. Um, and this is where we can access some of the templates. Okay. Those can all be found in other places as well, but this is sort of the dashboard where we're starting out. So we're going to start and we're going to create a new video. It's going to get things set up for us. It asks us where do you want to host it? What's the project you want to keep this in? I don't really have too many projects. This one was shared with me from another teacher. I did one out at Sunnyside with Chroma Key with green screens. So I'm just gonna throw it in the My Project. If you don't have one of those, a My Project, you can just create a new one, right? Um, and in order to do that, we would go into your projects, down to the bottom right, and we would create a new project. The thing about the projects is if it's just for you, if we're not worried about inviting other people to it, it's not a big deal. We can just have it all in one, my project, we can have it in different spaces. That's a personal one. If you want multiple people working on the same project, so you're working with a class and group A is all gonna work on the same project, they all wanna have access to the same file and, and you just need one copy of it, we're gonna do a collaborative one. And if you're doing it with your own, with the entire class and you want everybody to do a separate file, so they're all gonna do their own little editing, that's when you're gonna get into a shared one. So you can give them the, the base videos that you want them to work with, but then they all use those videos and they're gonna create their own, uh, their own file off of that. So I'm just gonna do a personal one and we'll just say, 
Jason's. That's good enough for me. Uh, we're going to skip those media. And we're going to create a video in there. I'm going to do a blank edit. Usually when we're just working with videos, they're called edits. So I, uh, I have a little bit of um, content up here. I uploaded this early. This is a seven minute uh, piece from a GoPro, just of a 3D printer going off. It was 1.3 gigabytes. It took about five minutes to upload, process, do all of that stuff. I'm gonna show you how to bring that in, but I wanted to bring that one in early because um, I knew it would take a lot large amount of time. Now, some of you may see a screen like this, which is called storyboard mode. Storyboard mode is our most basic, most you know, simplest version, but it also gives us the least amount of flexibility when we start editing multiple clips and if we want to layer stuff one over the other. Storyboard mode allows us to drag clips into here and just put them in a line. So we're just gonna go one after the other after the other, but they are all in that same clip, okay? We can put in titles and everything like we can do in the other ones, but it's a very simple one. I recommend not using storyboard mode. I recommend going up to the hamburger menu, the three lines, and coming down and switching to timeline mode. Timeline mode is a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say professional grade. This is a strong tool, but I'm not going to say it's a professional tool, but it's a little bit more advanced with regards to what you can do with it. So you can see it, it kept that same clip in there. We still have that GoPro clip. We'll just get rid of it here. Um, oh, we had a text there. It did put a title screen in there as well. So we'll get rid of that. So inside of here, up here, we have our media. Our media is the stuff that we're gonna drag down here. You can have pictures, you can have uh, videos, you can have just audio. Um, over here, we have our preview window. I play with this from time to time. If I'm working with a large number of clips, I'll grab these three dots. I call this the hot dog, the three dots here that are in a line, and I'll make that smaller. We can also close off that window if we want. Oh, sorry, we can't, we can close off a little bit at the top. Um, but what that allows us to do is it allows us to see more of our tracks down below. So if we're working with a large number of tracks, um, sometimes we want to see some more of those. You can also, if you want a bigger preview, you can make it full size again. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to make some media. We need to bring some media in. Media can be brought in from any source available to you. My recommendation for you, unless you have a really great camera or something that you want to shoot from, don't use the webcam on your uh, Chromebook, um, but potentially use the camera on your phone or your iPad to go and shoot stuff out and about. Um, I find the, the Chromebook one, the webcam is made for conversations and it is not high quality. Shoot with your phone if at all possible. So I did, and I dropped some in my Google Drive. So I'm gonna import. So right up here, I have the import, and I'm gonna click on import. It's gonna ask me where do I wanna import from? We can import from our Google Drive down here. Because I am working on a Chromebook, it automatically connects to my Google Drive. So my Google Drive acts like the C drive on a Windows. So if you're on a Windows or a Mac machine and you wanna upload from your Google Drive, you're gonna wanna come down here. If you're on your Chromebook, you can just jump straight into it, straight from the browse to select. Now, for me, I have two clips here that I shot last night on my phone. I'm gonna select them both and open them. It does take a little bit of time to process. You'll see it's kind of moving along the bottom. These ones are gonna come in fairly quick. They're only about seven seconds each, so they're gonna come in very quickly there. Now we've brought some media in. It's available to us. It's available in different projects. We didn't just connect it with this project. It's up in the My Media and not down in the Project Media. So why would we want one over the other? My Media, if you leave all your content in there, is going to get very full. It's going to be like your My Drive that some of you have where you just drop all of your files into there. Okay. Um, project Media is stuff that is specific to this project. It has nothing to do and you won't see it if you go to any other project. So I'm just going to leave it in My Media because I'm just working in this one. We're going to leave it in there. 
just taking a look. Please, if you have any questions, pop them in the uh, in the little window here. I'm going to try and fire through as quickly as I can, but I don't want to go over anything that you need me to stop on. So, all right. So we have that's one way. One way is to grab our media and import it from another source. Another thing that we can do is we can record media right from in we video. So I'm going to click on this. And it's going to ask us, what do we want to use to record? Do we want to use just the webcam? Again, it's not the best of quality, but if it's all you got, go ahead and grab it, right? Do we want to uh, record the screen? Nothing wrong with that. We can record the screen and we can demonstrate uh, what we want students to do in the background on a, you know, a document or something like that. Or we can record both of them. So I'm going to select to record both of them. If I don't use one, I can delete it, but it allows me to cut between my face and the screen as I'm going back and forth. We'll click next. It's going to give me what uh, camera do I want to use? I actually have a document camera connected here. So if I wanted to, if I was doing writing or something like that, I could record my document camera as well. I'm going to leave it as my webcam though. And then it asked me what microphone I want to use. Um, so I have a USB microphone set up here, but if you had another one that you wanted to use, just the internal microphone, you could absolutely do that. So, um, so question here from Dan, what's your recommendation for getting our media from a phone to the we video media area? I put it into, um, my drive. I just drop it up into my drive. I know that there's other ways you can do that. There's a Wii Video app that you can use to import it as well. Uh, but I just, regardless of the phone you have, you can share it to your My Drive and then just go from there. So, and let me know if that doesn't answer your question, Dan. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to go next. And it's going to ask us I have two screens on here. So, which of my screens do I want to record? We can't record both of them at the same time, unfortunately. It would be pretty great if we could have multiples, but I'm just going to record this guy right here. And then we're going to click share and it's going to start my countdown and start recording. So, it gives me a chance to get ready. The nice thing about Wii Video is I am not really that concerned if I get pop ups or things like that going on at the beginning because once I'm ready to go, now I'm going and now it's going to start recording and I'm going to uh, I'm going to work this in and I am wondering. Oh, it's sharing with we video. Perfect. So now I can start my discussion and I can say, OK, what I want you to do is I want you to grab some content and we're just going to drag it down into one of our two video streams. We have two video streams that are made and we have one audio stream. Notice it turns red because it is a video file. It's not going to allow us to pull it into the audio um, stream or audio track. We have to pull it into the video track. I'm going to come back and I'm just going to stop that recording. Because what it allows me to do now is preview what I just saw. And you guys probably lost my screen share because it jumped over to the other one. So. I'm going to bring that back. And hopefully you're back to seeing my screen here. What you should see is when it comes back, it will give you a previewing. So we can just watch that. We can press play quick to make sure that everything we got is what we wanted. If it's not what we wanted, we can go down and record it again. But we'll say it is. We'll hit save. And it brings our two clips in here. It also drags it and drops it down into our video one and video two. So it's going to line it up perfect and it's going to drop it in there. And if you take a look up at my preview here, it actually did something cool and it took my uh, webcam image and it made it smaller. And I can show you how to move that around and I will show you how to move that around the screen, how to make it bigger or smaller uh, and stuff like that. But it gives me a, a preview of what I have. I don't know if you guys were hearing audio there, hopefully not, but it's all in there and we can do that. If I don't want that clip in there, I can just remove it and get it out of the way and life is good. So we're all the way back to here. Up in the My Media is all my media there and we can go back to there. So just gonna pause for a second and make sure I'm going through. I got some notes here that I'm going through. So uploading, yes, recording, yes. Um, if we are in an edit, we can still record from here. 
if we're back on our dashboard, sorry, let's save and exit. Yeah, I just hit the delete button. Yeah, the backspace button on mine. So um, we can start a recording from right here as well. So we can do a recording from our dashboard as well. You see now I've created an edit. I didn't give it a name. I should rename this, but I didn't give it one. It's right here if I wanna see it. So just like I was telling you before. Okay, we got the recording all done. We talked about importing clips, talked about changing um, to timeline. All right, so I want to um, address another thing here. If you see down in the corner here, it says 16 by nine. That means it's a widescreen video, okay? Most of the video that we shoot these days, uh, I mean, it used to be primarily only widescreen. And so everybody was shooting this way. But now with phones, sometimes we shoot it vertically. So we shoot at nine by 16 and we have that vertical video that plays nicer on some phones. And so some people are shooting at nine by 16. And if you're an Instagram type person, they shoot at one by one. So they shoot at a square. So you can change based on what you want um, the output of your final product. Now we can use, and I'm gonna show you, you for those of you who can see, this one is shot vertically. This one was shot horizontally. We could bring in um, clips of different types and mix them inside of here and we can make it work. But your final product that's going out, you kind of want to think about where you want to go with it. If you just want it to go to kids and you know those kids are watching it on a device, you're going to upload it to YouTube or something like that. I would leave it as 16 to 9. Okay, cool. So we got the format. Now we're going to drag in some tracks. So I'm just going to bring in these guys. I'm going to bring in this track in video two. And I'm going to bring in this track in video one. If I try and overlap these, it will allow me to do that. Okay, so it's something I need to be aware of. And something that you need to make sure you do is try and make it so they click together. By default, right here, our clips are going to snap to one another. So it's going to try and snap. We can leave a blank, but as we get close, it'll snap in beginning to end, okay? And so that's usually what we wanna try and do. I use multiple tracks because now we can start to do different things in different tracks. I can bring another video up here and I can overlap, but for the time being, let's keep it simple. Let's drag it in and let's just look at some, some pieces here on what we can do. This drop down right here, allows us to change our track height. So if we were working with a lot of tracks, I might wanna make this small, but it makes it difficult to see what's going on inside of here. Since I only have two tracks, I'm gonna make it nice and big. And what you'll notice is you can see now the gray underneath, which is our audio. So we can actually see what's going on with the audio. High waves mean it's loud and low waves, like really short stuff, mean it is quiet, all right? These tracks are pretty small. I wanna zoom in a little bit more. Down in the bottom right is our zoom. And so essentially, we're not changing it, we're changing our timeline. So now we can see that one second is right here, whereas before, one second was way back here. It was just a tiny little minuscule dot. So we're just changing the timeline and the zoom factor on that. And you can go super big if you want, right? We can get really big or really small. We're just gonna leave it right there. This guy right here is our marker. This is where we're playing from. So if we've already established that the first half of our track, our edit is good and we wanna start editing from here, we can drag that to where we wanna to go to start editing it. To play from the beginning, you gotta bring that all the way back to the beginning, okay? Let's see what else we can do with this. If we're in the middle of our track and we wanna cut that track, so we wanna cut it into two, we wanna stop it right there. We can click on the scissors right here and it'll break this into two tracks. So we can drag that to our, this track here. We can work on them separately essentially is what we're doing as opposed to having everything apply to the same. Control Z will also undo any of the actions that you've done. All right, let's click on it once. You see a little bar opens up here. 
there's a couple different things that we can do. There's some audio options. There's some, uh, this one's kind of neat. We'll show you this one, opacity options, and then there's some edit. So I'm gonna start with audio. If we click on audio, you see, well, up here, obviously it says, do you want audio turned on or turned off? So we can mute that track. We can have a fade to fade in and fade out. Or you see this blue line right here. This blue line allows us to take our audio and fade it up and down at different sections. So I always think of this as if we're doing, we have a soundtrack underneath, but then we're gonna do a voiceover. So maybe I want that soundtrack to start high, then I'm gonna bring it down low while I'm talking. And at that point there, I'm gonna to start to bring it back up because I want that soundtrack again. And what I can do, and I'm not gonna play this because the audio doesn't come through the way I'm sharing, but what I can do is I can start to adjust the sound settings and make it fit for what I want. Again, not really useful for doing a classroom presentation or a, you know, a doc or a, a video where you're just teaching your kids how to, uh, you know, how to do a math problem, but it might be useful for some other projects you wanna do or for some personal projects you wanna do. I mean, you got this, have fun with it, make use of it, right? So that's the audio one. We also have some other pieces there. This one is opacity, which is similar. So now we get, you see, we have the green line. It's up here on our video. So opacity is just telling us how dark do we want to make it? So we can fade it to black and then we can fade it back in. So if I hit play on our preview here, make it a little bit bigger. See it fades out and then fades back in. So it's super quick because we have it zoomed in so tight, but you can see it fades down and fades back in. So you can do that with your different tracks if you want. All right, so I'm going to just bring those all the way back up. All right, special effects clips, or sorry, special clip effects. You need to highlight your clip and then the FX. This allows you to apply some of the filters that are available, I, you know, kind of everywhere. So the, the easiest one to show you is black and white. So if we put black and white on this clip only, you can see up here, my entire film has turned into a black and white film as opposed to the color film that you would see down here. So super simple way to do that. Very, very easy. Sepia is also another one. Uh, to make it look super old timey, right? And we can start to cut up the clips. So if you cut up a clip, you could then cut it up into different sections. So you could switch. I don't know why, because it would probably drive you nuts, but from sepia to black and white to something else, or maybe we want to do a little bit of uh, the Wizard of Oz where the first section was in black and white and it switches to color when we get to Oz and we go back to black and white. I mean, you can play with that and have some fun there. The last one I'm gonna show you up here is our clip editor. This is ridiculously powerful, okay? You can get to the clip editor a couple ways, by clicking this, or if you double click on your clip, it'll bring up the same idea. Now, what can we do with this? We can put in a caption. Our caption will show up down here at the bottom. So we can do a lower third. So if I wanted to just put in, this is, Dominic Kwasny, local fool, right? So we could have that caption down there. Actually, you know what, it might look better, something like that. And we could have the information in there. We can change our different text. We can do bold. We can do the different size of it. There's a whole bunch of things. So that's in the first one up here. We'll jump to the second one, which is transformations. We can rotate it. So if we take a clip and we wanna turn it, it comes in sideways, we wanna turn it. We can flip it horizontally and vertically, so we can make these guys be upside down. So again, we could have some fun with some of the effects. We can fit it into the frame or fit it into the screen if we overshot it. We can scale it up and down. So remember when we brought in the recording that we did of the webcam, what actually happened there is they scaled that down and then dragged it up to the corner. So we'd have two Let's make it nice and small. We essentially would have two tracks. We would have our background track and our foreground track on there, right? Two video tracks. And we just scale one of them, drop it in the corner, 
And then you can drag that around wherever you want. You can put that down at the bottom if you think that that makes more sense. And you can move that at different points, right? Remember, we can cut that clip. If we cut that clip, it can be down in the corner for one thing, and then we can slide it up to another section for another. You can adjust those here as well. I always find it easiest just to drag it around. All right, I'm actually gonna go back to this one here because this was our one that was shot vertically. If we have a vertically shot film like this, we're gonna get black lines on the sides. If you use this guy right here, blurred background, and I'm sure you've seen this on some clips, what it will actually do is zoom in on that film or zoom in on that clip, but blur the background. So when we play through that, you kind of see that the background is moving as well. So essentially we're just making it so it, it looks a tad bit more professional there. So again, just a little super easy thing to do. You can jump into your audio options here if you wanna level it beyond 100%. And also you can set your fade in and fade out from this point as well. We're gonna keep traveling along the top. These are some of the animations if we want our clips. And again, think PowerPoint animations if we want different clips to fade in and fade out. We can have some fun with that. There's also some transitions that you can bring in at different points too. If we need to adjust our colors, if you wanna get super technical with this, you can adjust your colors here. Uh, I generally leave them default unless there's a reason for me to go in and monkey around with them. This is where we would do our chroma key. I'm gonna skip that for this point. That's our green screening and we're gonna jump to fast and slow motion. This is where we can do our fast and slow motion. We can go up to 10 times the speed so I was looking actually the GoPro, if we just hit play quick, it goes super quick. But um, the GoPro one I had was seven minutes long and it shortened it down to, I think about a minute or so, a little bit less, 48 seconds by doing that, by going 10 times as fast. But it's again, that monotonous thing that you might wanna do, or if you wanna slow it down, uh, we could do that as well. When you're done, when you have everything set, save it and you're good. All right, last thing we need to do, I, there's tons of stuff you can do here. If we jump up here, here's your My Media. There is stock media in here. So if you wanna look for these words or insects, I was looking up canyons the other day. You can pull in information from a canyon and you can drop that down in here and you can use that. These are royalty free, so you can use those if you want. Create a cool introduction with, uh, you know, maybe a title um, coming in or something like that and use that on all of your films. Uh, there's also audio as well, there's stock audio. So if you need some sound effects, there's stock sound effects. There's also stock back background music. These are all available to you to use, so use them. I'm rushing through because I wanna make sure we get done by 3.30. There is uh, text pieces that you can pull in. So if I wanna pull in a quote and I'm gonna stick that well, we'll drop it, tell you what, we'll drop it here. So I can move this one out of the way. And in the middle, I wanna throw in a quote. We can do that. We're gonna double click on there. You must be the best judge of your own happiness. Now we can come into it again. All I did was double click on that, that uh, track, that clip that I put in the track and I can start to change it. So if I want certain things to be larger or smaller, you know what, let's make it super small just to over-exaggerate. I can do that and I can sort of start to change different pieces of this. I can change my color scheme and I can also change the transition. How does it come in? Um, what scale, sorry, the transforming. Do I want it in left or right, up or down vertically? And do I want it to be zoomed in or do I want it just to be standard and normal? So I'm gonna cancel that to get that out. There's tons of these in here. There are titles that you can put at the beginning. Uh, there's moving titles. Um, these guys down here are kind of cool. So you can pop some stuff and make it pop if you want and then it goes away. So there's lots of different things you can do with it. There's also backgrounds that you can make use of if you wanna bring in a background. If you don't wanna use your own, you can bring those in. All right, now we're all done. We're gonna to jump to our finish. We're gonna give it a name. I will go back afterwards and edit one of those titles, absolutely. We're gonna choose 
standard definition, high definition, you have the ability to export video, audio, or GIF. Okay, video is everything. That's what we've been doing, creating. Audio, if you were doing a podcast and maybe you recorded all this stuff and you just wanted the audio file, this is where you do audio only. And then GIF is moving video, their maximum, I think 44 seconds, moving video, no audio associated with it. All right, we're gonna come down here by default. It stores it in Wii Video to make it available for download. I'm gonna not make it public, but I'm also gonna store it in my Google Drive. So I attach my Google Drive on here, not gonna make it public, right? And so I'm also gonna store it in my Google Drive. And then we're gonna go export. We don't have to stay here. We don't have to stick on this. It'll send us an email when it's done. So we can go back to our editor and we can start uh, monkeying around with another edit or doing something else. So I am one minute over. I'm gonna keep going and go back in here and edit stuff. But if uh, I'm not gonna get into anything really new and exciting here, if you guys need to take off, that's cool. If you wanna stick around, stick around. If you have something to leave in the chat that you want me to look at slower or closer, please do. And I'll keep working here, so. So uh, you had wanted to take a look at a text. We're going to, uh, we'll delete some of this stuff because it's kind of garbage. And we'll grab, uh, we'll grab this one. We'll bring it in, oops. We're gonna double click on it. And we're gonna go up here to our text properties. And we're just gonna change what we wanna say. So in this case, we have three lines. It says, share your message. So all we do is change it to Jason says, make movies. And it's there. We save those changes. It's in there, it's dropped in. And to get a quick preview, there we go, boom. Uh, and did you just um, click in that box to change that title? Yeah, like, once I dragged it down to the track here, then I just double click there. And But once you're here, like, did you just click in this box? Yep, wherever okay. the word is. So right here where it said Jason, yeah. I just double clicked in there to, to okay. clear that out. Yep. Okay. The other way that you can get there is up here. So open the clip editor and it'll bring you to the same place. But then it's the same idea. You just, at the title like on the bit that you want to edit is that correct yep, yep. Okay. so you just clip on that and then up here so okay okay thank you cool um can you please edit one of the titles done i found it tricky to adjust the length of the track after they were strung together and transitions added yeah it's uh i mean transitions take it to an entire another level so when you start monkeying around with when or not even monkeying around when you start putting transitions in there um, it is difficult sometimes to edit those. So, so I mean, editing the tracks, we can just click on it and we can grab this, uh, the side and drag it. I like to kind of watch the video and I'll track through here. So I'm just going to hit play. And then let's say right there, I wanted to cut it. I generally will cut it. And then I might move that track in the same place to a different I might have like a, a dummy track set up here. So I'll show you what I mean by this. The problem then becomes is as we start to move tracks left and right and everything, stuff starts to slide all around. But I might create another track, a video track. And we'll just say this is called our trash. And that way we know that anything in there can be trashed. And I might slide this up into there. What I can also do in here is I can hide that track so it's not going to be visible when it's played. So when I play this, we don't see anything until we get to the visible tracks. So what you can do is you can kind of play with it there and, and test and try different things. So something to maybe try, Jennifer. I, the, the deeper you get into it, the more complicated it gets. So um can you delete the middle sections of a clip absolutely you can so we'll take this clip here we're going to click on it and we're going to do essentially the same thing that we did before we're going to cut it we're going to go to another section that we want to cut it and we're going to click on the new track because we've by sorry new clip 
in this track, we now have one, two, three clips. By cutting that one, we created a new clip. So we're gonna click where we wanna cut it. We're gonna cut it again. And if we wanna get rid of the middle, we just click delete there or slide it up to a, a hidden track or something like that. I wouldn't publish with a hidden track like trash. So at the end, I would probably delete that track. I'll show you right here. If we move over to it, there's a little trash can and you can delete that track. So I would probably delete that track and not publish or finalize with that. And then you can slide your tracks together and make them all work. I didn't even, you know what? I brought in that, uh, this goofy one here, this GoPro one that's seven minutes long. The minute I brought, or the reason, oops, let's put it right there. The reason actually I brought that one in is because it's got the motor just going back and forth the entire time. And it is super annoying and not something I would ever want to have on a video. Um, what you can do in your track settings right here is you can mute that one track just from there. And so essentially when we play that, and I would play this one at a much faster speed, I would, uh, up to here, we are seven minutes, 17 seconds. And if I go full speed, it brings it down to 43 seconds. And so if we play that one, it would be much faster and it goes much, much quicker and stuff like that. And then we can narrate over top. I didn't even get into, and I'm sorry, right here we can narrate over our, uh, over our tracks. So what this means is we open our voice recorder. I like to have the preview going. So that way I can mute my tracks. And then I'm gonna hit record on this. And what it's basically gonna do is it's gonna start recording. So I can say, okay, as we're laying down the, the printing here and I can talk about the logistics of what's happening with the printer, how it's laying one layer of plastic on top of another layer of plastic. And those layers are about, you know, 0.2 millimeters thick and it'll keep going. And I'm going to stop there. I was going a little bit long. I don't know why it kept popping back and forth, but um, and then we can preview that back with our, our narration. So again, we could get we don't have to rely on the audio from outside clips. We can narrate it separately. I'm going to just trash it because there's no reason to. But so I mean, tons of options, tons of flexibility here. I hope that you guys uh, I hope we got some value out of that. Um, as always, I'll stick around if you guys have any questions. Cool. If not, thank you. Um, if you need the link one more time, I will copy and paste it in there and please go ahead and grab yourself a, uh, premium license so that you can do that. Just look at your Google form. I've only ever logged in with Google. Does that mean I already have a free account? Yes, it does. Oh, I missed some of this. I should have scrolled down. Uh, I already have a free Google account or still I need to officially sign up. You do, uh, you probably signed up for a free account, Kelly, and uh, you would need to get the premium one. So perfect, great. You guys are welcome, more than welcome. So awesome, sorry I missed some of the chat here. So you're welcome. I'm gonna stop the recording too here.